All right, everyone, welcome back to another video on a project series of the registration form. So this is the step four where we will be writing our Lambda function. So in this step, we will write the code for our Lambda function. We will define a function that receives the form data, creates a new item in our DynamoDB table and returns a response to the user. So we will also add chorus headers to the response to enable cross-domain requests from our frontend. Once we have written our Lambda function code, we can move on with the next step. But before moving on, so let me explain the frontend that we have for this particular project, which is a very simple one. I hope uh, you will you know, improve on that. If you have any better idea, you can build on top of this, right? So let me explain the frontend that I have for this particular project. All right, so in my particular laptop, I have created a separate folder called code and under that I have created uh, something called as frontend. So in frontend, I have three files, index.html, javascript.js, style.css. This is a simple uh, form. I will show you how the form looks. If you want to improve on, if you add, uh, if you want to add some details, you can completely go ahead and do that. So I will provide you the code in the github repository i will make sure to provide the link in the description so make sure to check the uh, github repo so this is the form where it is going uh, it is saying that the header is uh, the registration form so i'm simply collecting name email phone and password so these are the values that i'm trying to collect from this uh, form registration form and i also have a button called a uh, submit button so once a user after filling all these details required details if they hit submit button it will go to the script.js i'll explain what is script.js doing in this particular project right so next to add some styling for this particular project i've used a simple styling here so margin top margin top for this flex direction and all those things a very simple one so i've created a container and this is the padding and this is the margin and so on style.css index.html very simple let's get into the actual code that is script.js so once the user hits the submit button so these details will be collected so we will get the form data such as you know uh, the name email phone password so these data uh, the user will en enter in the form and we are going to collect those data and store it into a variable next we will request we will create request object so this is the you know uh, line that is doing or creating the request object next it's to set up the request so we are going to use these things here so here if you see here we have api url so we need to provide the app api gateway url here so which we will be doing it in the next video but wait till then so uh, we need to replace this url uh, with the api url so once that is done so basically it will get you the uh, json data right so we will need to set up the response handler. So this particular uh, part of code is doing that. Once the registration is successful, it will notify you saying that the registration is successful. If it fails, it will tell you that registration failed. Okay. So let me do you uh, do one thing quickly. So I'll open my frontend uh, uh, folder and I'll also open index.html. So this is a simple registration form that we have created. So here you'll provide the name, email, phone, password. And once you hit submit, so which is going to uh, give an error right now. So let me submit it. So it will say error registration failed because we have not connected with the API gateway and things. So we will do that once we uh, you know complete the next step. But understand, so once we hit submit, the whatever the data that we fill here, it needs to be taken to our DynamoDB and it will be stored in our DynamoDB table. Now you might ask me how secure is that to store the data in the DynamoDB table. So we will talk about that later, but this is what the project is all about, right? Now let's go ahead and create another folder called uh, Lambda function. I've already created a folder called Lambda function. Here, let me go ahead and write my Lambda function. I'll come back and explain 
what is this particular lambda function is doing so i've created a file called lambda.py let me start coding Project. Now let me explain the code to you. So here I've just imported the JSON and the Boto3 uh, libraries. And here I'm opening the DynamoDB uh, table resource using the Boto3 SDK. I'm using a resource here, uh, sorry, typo. I've just given an extra space, I removed it. And here I'm specifying the resource as DynamoDB. So in DynamoDB, we are opening a specific table called registration table, which we uh, created. So let me go back here. So this is the table name, registration table name. Make sure to give the same name there, okay? So let me come back here. And this is a Lambda handler, basically. So we are going to get an event. Basically, what is the event? When the user hits submit, so that event is created. So and uh, we will create an API gateway later. So I will show you how to do that. So that event is it will be in the JSON format. So I explained in the front end uh, part. So that information should be put into our DynamoDB. So what I'm doing, I'm getting that event and here I'm using put item API request and I'm going to put those information in my uh, you know DynamoDB table. Right. So here, if you see here, I'm going to, uh, you know, put my uh, email from event, uh, which gives email, event, which gives name uh, will be stored into name, phone, similarly for phone and similarly for password. Okay. So after everything is fine. So I will just return saying that uh, uh, this is the status code 200 headers. I'm using this one as uh, this is a cross origin uh, resource sharing. So I've used uh, uh, you know access control allow origin as star okay later on in the body i'm just going to mention uh, registration is successful so this is a simple simple lambda function um, that uh, i have written okay so for this to work what you have to do is in the dynamo db table you need to uh, create the you know entries first the email name phone and password which we will do that in the you know next part of this video where we will also create an API gateway. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.